Hey everyone, it's Nicole from Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel. So keep me in your side, cause I can do this all night. So today's video is for OPI's new spring collection. For spring 2023, we have the Me, Myself, and OPI collection. When I purchased this collection, I kind of went into purchasing it thinking that I was not going to be a huge fan. <laughs> Um, yeah, spring collections don't really do it for me. I will save all of my thoughts and opinions on this collection at the end of the video. But before we get into this video, I do want to mention, if you are new around here, hi, I am Nicole. It is wonderful to meet you and thank you very much for clicking on today's video. Do consider hitting subscribe if you enjoy nail polish related content. I upload new videos Tuesdays and Saturdays featuring a mixture of indie, mainstream, as well as boutique nail polish brands. I also go live every Sunday. If you are in fact a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? So as I was saying, today's video is for the new spring 2023 collection from OPI. So as far as I can tell, this collection is tech inspired. Take that however you want. I did purchase all the polishes featured in today's video. If you'd like to pick up the polishes at a discount as well as support this channel, I will have some affiliate links and codes down in the description box if you want to pick these up at a discount. Otherwise, um, as always, down in the description box, links to where you can purchase uh, social media pages, my social media pages, blog posts, Time Sam's, let's get into this video. First up, we have I Meta My Soulmate. The brand describes this one as a baby pink pearl. I Meta My Soulmate had a fantastic formula. It was a little bit on the more sheer and thin side, but I found it very easy to work with nonetheless. Because this one is on the more sheer side, I do think you're likely gonna wanna build this one up to get the most opacity. On my nails, I found that I preferred coverage in three coats more than I liked coverage in two. In two coats it was just still just a little bit too sheer for me i do not like colors like this at all and i don't want to start off the review with a negative but like i just did not <laughs> this is not for me a pearl finish baby pink just feels very outdated and old-fashioned in my mind i said what i said so like I wasn't really a fan of this one because this one is a pearl finish it does have very obvious brush strokes when the polish is dry next up we have spring break the internet OPI describes this one as a shimmery hot pink. Spring Break the Internet had a really great formula. It was a little bit on the thinner side, but I found it applied very nicely. This one also is very sheer, so I do think it's likely going to be a solid three-coater just to reach full opacity with it. Like, it just still looks very sheer and a little patchy, I found, in two coats. I initially thought I was not going to like this one, but they're, the bright pink of the base definitely made me like it more than I thought I would. The shimmer effect in here, it's not a shifty shimmer, and it's not a super smooth shimmer. It's, it has quite a bit of sparkle to it and almost like a purplish bluish kind of tone. I'm trying really hard to learn to appreciate the more, well actually the less in your face shimmers, like just like a nice subtle shimmer effect. I'm trying to appreciate those more because I do feel like they do look pretty on the nail, but I feel like I also always shit on them for not being more in your face. So yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have Left Your Texts on Red. This is described as a bright ruby red with a shimmer. This one also had a great formula, a bit more sheer, a bit jelly-like, and also on the slightly on the thinner side. I can't really tell what color the shimmer was, but it was sparkly, it wasn't smooth, so you don't get any brush strokes, and it will make removal just a little bit more messy. Because this one is a more jelly-ish kind of polish, I opted to swatch it in three coats. I feel like the angle that I do for the live swatches, you couldn't really tell that there was obvious visible nail line as well as I was seeing in person. This one is likely to be a two to three coater depending on application and potentially your own nail length. I also thought this was going to be a stainer, but I did not personally experience any staining with it, but I was wearing base coat. So that is three coats of Left Your Text on Red plus glossy top coat. Next up, we have Switch to Portrait Mode, which OPI describes as a powder pink pearl finish. So this had a really great formula because it is a pearlized finish. It does show a lot of brush strokes. Like the previous pearl finish, I just, I don't like, I just don't like this. I can like a pearlized finish sometimes if the color is not like these pale pinks, but I just feel like these just feel so outdated and old fashioned. That's right, I said it! To me that I just, I just don't like them. It's not a bad polish, don't get me wrong. Like it's just, this is just not for me. I am not the target audience for this one. So I kind of feel like having two of these pale pinks that are in a pearlized finish in one collection is a bit much. This is another two to three coater depending on application and personal preference. I swatched it in three coats. 
Next up, we have Data Peach, which OPI describes as a pearly peach. Like the other pearlescent finishes in this collection, this is going to be another two to three coater depending on nail length and personal preference. For me personally, I liked coverage more in three coats, so I didn't have any visible nail line, but if you don't mind visible nail line, it can be a two coater. I was really shocked at how much I like this one because like I've been saying this whole time, I do not like pearlescent finishes. Apparently, when it's like a peachy pink with like just the, just the tiniest hint of like a golden kind of tone to it. Apparently that's what gets me to like a pearlescent finish. So who would have thought? Not me. To be real, if I had really given it some thought, like once I saw that vaguely golden shimmer in the bottle, I should have known that I like this one because you know, I love gold. I'm sorry, I had to, but yeah, I really do love gold. And especially when it's paired with anything vaguely pink, like that, that color combination just does everything for me. And this one just looks absolutely gorgeous. So again, two to three coaters depending on application, I swatch it in three coats plus glossy top coat. Next up, we have Silicon Valley Girl. The brand describes this one as a vibrant tangerine orange cream. Silicon Valley Girl had a really fantastic formula. It was a little bit streaky on that first coat and it self-leveled a little bit slower than I expected, but it did self-level and it ended up drying down just shy of being a one coater on me. I love this bright shade of orange. I found when I had this one on my nails, I got a lot of compliments on it during the live stream. Like it's a very bright and in your face color. It's what I personally prefer on my nails. Like this is just a super fun color. I really appreciate for a spring collection that we got like this nice, bright, vibrant color because as I keep saying, I do not like pastel creams. I swatched this one in two coats. I think it'll likely be a solid two coater. And speaking of pastel creams, we have Blinded by the Ring Light. This is a pastel yellow. This one had a pretty good formula, especially for a pastel yellow. I expected it to be super streaky and just not great. It self-leveled perfectly and it did not feel chalky at all. Do you think this one is likely to be a solid three coater? I just, coverage was just a little bit too uneven for me in two coats. Don't ask why I swatched it in two coats for the live swatch and three coats on my natural nails. I can't remember why I did that. I think this one is going to be a solid three coater. And I do want to know, I did float the brush on when I was doing my full hand swatches just to make sure I didn't have any light spots. Next up, we have Clear Your Cash, which the brand describes as a honeydew green creme polish. This polish had a really fantastic formula. I think it's likely gonna be a solid two coater. Coverage was really fantastic for me in two coats. I wanna say two things. One, when I bought this polish, I thought that this was gonna be like a Kermit the Frog green. It is not. It is like somewhere between like a sickly pea soup green and maybe vaguely honeydew. Second thing, I have ranted about the name of this polish to at least three different people because I thought the name of this was Clean Your Cash. I thought OPI was doing a money laundering joke. Yeah, I'm, I'm now seeing it's an R and not an N, so I, I was wrong. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I thought this color was fantastic. self little great, great formula, everything 10 out of 10, really great. Yeah, it's all great, I'm just stupid. Next up, we have NF Tease Me, and this is described as being a light blue with a slight turquoise undertone. This polish had a really great formula. The turquoise undertone in here, it is very difficult to photograph. I found no matter what I did, it always photographed as a light blue to me, but in person I was seeing that slight turquoise undertone. I did color correct my photos to try to best show that turquoise undertone but I feel like I didn't get it 100%. I'd say it's like maybe 90, 95 if I'm being nice to myself. But yeah, this had a really great formula. It did not apply chalky at all, self-leveled perfectly. Swatch this one in two coats plus glossy top coat. I could see, however, longer nails needing a third coat just to make sure everything was even. Next up, we have Incognito Mode. The brand describes this one as a purple mauve creme polish. Incognito Mode had a fantastic formula. It applied so buttery smooth on me. It was not quite a one coater, but it was very close. So I built this one up in just two coats. I was pleasantly surprised to really like this one. I feel like it has just a tiny hint of gray in it. I don't usually like uh, mauves, but when there's gray in it, I can get down with it. As I said, I swatched this one in two coats plus glossy top coat. I don't really see anyone needing more than two coats. And this next polish is called I Sold My Crypto. This one is described as being a vibrant amethyst with a silver shimmer. So this polish had a great formula. As you can see, it starts off very sheer. You will want to build this one up to get the most opacity. The coverage was pretty even in two coats, but it was not quite opaque on me. I do think this one is likely going to be a solid three coater. 
Maybe you can use it as a topper, but I just, I don't think the shimmer will look great in one coat for a topper. Kind of meh about this one. Like, it's a pretty color. I like the shade of purple that this is, but like the shimmer is a little lackluster for me. So I swatched this one in three coats plus glossy top coat. It will not be difficult at all to remove, but a little bit messy. And the final polish is called Pink in Bio. OPI describes this one as a creamy off-white with a slight pink undertone. Pink and Bio had a pretty good formula. It was a little bit streaky and a little bit uneven, but that is to be expected with such a light shade. Self-leveled really nicely and I did not have any application issues with it. I would have just called this one like a super, super pale pink. I can see where the brand was going with a white, an off-white with a pink undertone because that is, that is this polish. This is going to be one of those colors that will be a two to three coater depending on application and even personal preference. I do not like any kind of light spots on my nail, so I did swatch this one in three coats and that kind of fixed the light spot issue. If you aren't as picky as me, this will be passable in two coats, but longer nails will likely definitely want three coats. Okay, so final thoughts. Like the SE Cyber Society collection, I did not like the names of the polishes. Some of them were kind of cringy, some of them weren't terrible, so I didn't love that. But to be honest, it's very rare that a name of a polish will really keep me from buying something because I don't generally remember names anyway. Color story wise, I didn't absolutely hate it. <laughs> and for context, I went into this thinking that I was not going to like them. Like spring collections are not generally like my personal cup of tea. My top pick color wise is going to be Data Peach. I did not think I was going to like this one. Like in the bottle, it looked very frosty. And I don't think I generally like colors like this, but there was a, something about how this one looked on the nail that I just really, really enjoyed it. This next color, it was both, I was most looking forward to this one and I was most disappointed by it, but I didn't hate it. As I mentioned in the in the live swatch, I thought this was going to be a Kermit the Frog green for some reason. I don't know why. I'm trying to find the photo of it that I saw that made, led me to believe it was Kermit the Frog green. It's not Kermit the Frog green at all. I don't hate it and I thought I would hate it once I saw that it wasn't Kermit the Frog green. I don't know like I'm still conflicted but I didn't hate it but it's it's a top pick because I did like it a lot but I also was very disappointed at the same time. I don't think any of this is going to make sense. The orange in this collection also, this is another one that surprised me. It's called Silicon Valley Girl. I didn't think I was going to like this one. I can't put my finger on why I didn't think I was going to like it, but I ended up liking it a lot. I, so yeah, like not a bad collection. I didn't think the formulas were bad. I just, I didn't love the color story and I didn't like the inspiration. I think I have one more spring collection on its way to me and I think that will be my final spring. So yeah, I think this is going to be my least favorite of the spring collections that I've done so far. I would love to know what everyone else thought of this release. Like, what do you think of the names, the inspiration, the color story? Like, what do you all think? As I mentioned, this collection is available right now. All the places OPI is sold. I will have um, affiliate codes and links down in the description box if you want to pick this collection up at a discount or perhaps even support the channel. Before we end today's video, I do want to give a very special shout out to my channel members. Besties, thank you all so much. Without your support, I would not be able to afford to purchase all these collections. So like, seriously, I really, really appreciate it. If you would like to join channel memberships, I will have a link for that in the description description box but if not that's fine too just you know like this video comment subscribe all the things and we are solid so thank you all so very much for watching today's video if you enjoyed today's video please do not forget to give this video a big old like and comment let me know what you all think just have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you on the next video and stay tuned there's gonna be some kitten footage too if you, you stay to the end so surprise all right thanks everyone have a good weekend bye what are you two doing Hi, darling. Do you want to say hi to your darling?